Oh man, black man mad. Y'all know what happened when the black man get mad. Whew. What's going on, everybody? It's Kevin Lumpkin coming to you live. Lumpkin Electronics Virtual Escape Room. Come out, play some games, enjoy yourself, have some fun. Got this one from TMZ over here. Father, thank God he and his son's life. Father, guess his son is uh flexing weed on the gram with the pistol on the gram. Father, spit knowledge. I'm gonna let the video play through. Again, we do not condone violence over here on this channel. Uh, then I'm gonna get my thoughts and reactions about it. You know, at the end of the day. And explain some things so people can have an understanding. Right, let's take a pull up. Whoever want to, hey, why y'all bullshitting? Pull y'all tough ass up. I guarantee y'all would beat the shit out. Hey, I want y'all. Pull up. I'm on it. What's that, Damon? Snake shit in here. Do it. <laughs> Jeff, for that? Now, come help. Come help. Come on, quit playing with me. Come help. Diddy type of kid gonna get you fucked up. That's what I'm saying. These your friends, though. Your friend will get your ass beat. If you ever in your fucking life listen to one of them and raise your hand to me, bitch, I will bury you and bury they dust asses, too. Don't fucking play with me, David. This type of shit I'm talking about. These little boys and these little girls gonna get the shit beat out you, boy. Play with me if you want to. You better choose your motherfucking friends wisely. Cause right now, you bullshit, nigga. Better tell them your dad is not the nigga to play with. I will bury them fucking bitches. I don't care about killing no fucking kids. You better tell them. Before they kill you or before they hurt you, I'll do it. Tell them folks quit motherfucking playing. This shit ain't no motherfucking joke. Fuck wrong with y'all kids. Don't get mad because y'all dust ass parents don't love y'all like I love mine. Now what? Y'all know where he is. Pull up. Help. Come save. Since y'all can Whew. Man. Mine. That was pretty tough to watch, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I didn't expect that one. Hmm. Uh, let's just start with the obvious. This is the reason why we have trauma in our life as black men. That's the first problem. If you want to know why the black man got trouble, trauma in his life, it's because he's being raised by somebody who does not know how to communicate effectively. Listen to me, black community. When it comes to our children, we have to learn how to uh, communicate effectively. First mistake is, is the fact that you record this and you're putting it on social media. I don't record how I parent my children. That's not uh, great parenting skills. Uh, first, first off, let's start there. I don't need to show the world how I punish my children, regardless of the mistakes they make. Uh, I was a child at one time in my life, and I made plenty of mistakes. And there's no need for me to aggressively attempt to bully you into doing what I want you to do and fearful, being fear, fear. Uh, I don't believe that the father understands that this is the internet and this goes worldwide. And what we just witnessed was, I understand you passionate about your son, bro. I get that. And I understand that as a uh, black men and black boys, we need, they, they need their dads. But first, you, you, when you slap them, you, you dehumanize them as a person. That doesn't show uh, that you love your son. It, you, you, you really dis dehumanize. I mean, look at the, look at the boy's face. The, the, as you sit here with what I got on the screen right here, just save. That boy looks like he wants to do to you what you are trying to talk about doing to others. The look on, the, the, on that boy's face right there is saying that he don't respect you and that if he could do something about it, he'd do something to you. That's that look right there from a young black man to an older black man. So instead of teaching your son the right way and leading your family that in the right direction, you bring in more harm to him than good. 
I'm going to go through. I'm, I'm going to play it back. Then I really don't want to because it's disheartening to watch this. And it's disheartening to watch this because as a black boy who went through things like this, it's, it's hard to explain the embarrassment that happens. Back when I was born in the 80s and 90s, remember your parents used to come up to the school and whoop your ass. You see what I mean? Embarrassment. Embarrassing. Why are you trying to embarrass him? Why aren't you trying to educate and teach him? We got the same destructive behavior going on, and we wonder why our community is in the condition that it's in. And have the audacity to record this. Here I am. Here this boy. Little, this boy. I'm not gonna say little boy because he's not. He's almost a grown man. Is getting physically abused, mentally abused, psychologically abused. Here your mother is sitting here. I think that's your mother. It could be your father's girlfriend. I don't know. Is sitting here holding your a phone, recording you being disrespected. For the world to see it, and it will never go away. And I'm I'm commenting on. It. I'm reacting to it. It's disheartening. And this is not good parenting. And then you got the little kid walking in the middle of this dysfunction. Tell your friends to come over. I beat them up, and I beat so you could beat the whole world, huh, bro? The whole world you can beat up. There ain't nobody better than you in the world. I can look through your eyes, man, and your soul, bro. I ain't talking about, I'm talking to the grown man here. And I can see that that ain't true, bro. Let's keep going. So then you say, tell these little kids, I'll kill little kids. Come on, man. Come on, bro. I don't know what you do, man. I don't. I don't know what organization you might be a part of i don't but from my understanding of knowledge of uh organizations women and kids aren't included in these issues that real men in the streets deal with and real men who interact with other real men and we gotta shoot the fair one or we gotta take care of business we do that between men not little boys not girls and not children and not women we know the code. On a, the, uh, well, uh, we know what's up. L l let's play. Let's. I mean, I really don't even want to play this, but let's go ahead. Tell him, pull up. Whoever want to play. While y'all bullshitting, pull y'all tough ass up. I guarantee you, I would beat the shit out. Hey, I'm on y'all. Pull up. I'm on it. What's that, Damon? Snake shit in here. Do it. <laughs> Jeff for that? Now, come here. So now. Y'all pull up, pull up. So what if they did pull up? What happens if your threats went out and somebody pulled up with the biggest fucking rifle in the world and start shooting your house up? With your family there in the house. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Education and leading. This is what I'm talking about leading. I'm not on the internet just randomly talking and randomly saying anything to anybody and just saying, here, go, come pull up. Because what happens if somebody take you up on that offer? I'm putting my wife in danger. I'm putting the, the dude next to me that on the couch. He's saying he love him. He said that's his son. I'm putting him in danger now. For what? For what? One second, one second. You yeah. know? It's crazy. Look at his face. So now you just demean this man as a man. You didn't educate him. You didn't teach him. This is the problem. The problem is we not educating and teaching our children what's really right and wrong. We are participating in the fuckery. We are participating in the bullshit. So your son did something wrong. Posting guns and weed on fucking social media is foolish. But to stand here on social media and physically assault him almost I mean basically you threaten in his life and you think that your actions is better than his actions 
You, you can't make this shit up. You think that what you doing is any better than what he did? You're not, you're not an example. And for the lady who with the video, if this is your son, this is how you look at black men? I'm looking at you right in the eyes. Is this is how you view black men? Here's a question. If this young brother went into the streets angry and mad because this is what happened to him at home and got into an altercation in the street with a law enforcement officer and that didn't end up for him, we would be protesting and rioting and doing all this stuff not understanding where he come from in the situation he in. Come help. Come on, quit playing with me. Come help. These type of kids gonna get you fucked up. That's what I'm saying. These your friends though. You saying they his friends, they not necessarily his friends. They just the people who treat him better than you do. That's the fucking problem. It's not that they his friends. It's just that they show them more love than you show them. They give him more education than you do. They don't embarrass him. So he's gravitating towards feeling good about himself. But yet you standing here less than a man disrespecting him. Your friend will get your ass beat. If you ever in your fucking life listen to one of them and raise your hand to me, bitch, I will bury you. If you ever listen to any of them and raise your hand to me, you you gonna bury your own you gonna murder your own son if he lift a hand to you. If he lift a hand to you, it's because he don't respect you based on the way you treating him. And I would not be shocked that once he got the ability to put his hands on you. And even have the thought process of whooping you, that's what he's going to try to do. So that's what, that, that's what as dads you need to understand. Yeah, you're you going to get him to, eventually he's going to be a bad man. Eventually he's going he gonna, he gonna to want to see you. And instead of it being love, it's going to be carnage. Embarrow that dust ass too. So now you want to kill everybody. You're going to kill your son, kill all his friends. He's just a bad motherfucker. Don't fucking play with me, David. It... See, stuff like this upsets me, man. It upsets me. It really does. Because it's unnecessary. Now you got the little child witnessing all of this. And this is all here for us on social media and around the world to view. This type of shit I'm talking about. These little boys and these little girls gonna get the shit beat out you, boy. Play with me if you want to. You better choose your motherfucking friends, why? Then you further. There's the further demonation. So, for the women out there, I want y'all to just look. For the women out there who talking about ain't no good men out here. For the women out here talking about these black men messed up out here. For the women out here who's saying all of those things about black men. This is what we were raised in, the type of situations coming up in. How can we show you some love when ain't nobody showing us some love when we children? Look at this man. He got his fingers in the man's face. I want you to just look, look at the, the situation here. He got his two fingers like a pistol to his son's head while his mama with the goddamn cell phone recording the damn video. Just let that sink in for a second. You don't think this man is going to go into the world with psychological problems? Not trusting himself, not believing in himself, not being his best, not being on his purpose, not raising to the heights that he can raise to as a young man? These are all the challenges that this little young brother going to face. And I hope and pray that he don't end up in the grave or he don't end up in prison behind the foolery going on right here. Cause right now, you bullshit, nigga. Now I got to be a nigga. I can't be a, 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 an intelligent black man. No, 
My father can't call me an intelligent black man. He got to refer to me as a, a ignorant nigga. A nigga. That's what he got to refer to me. I'm sorry. I, in words, I know it's get flagged. What this? What does this remind you of? Let's go back, all the way back to the slavery days. Let's go all the way back there. When the Caucasian man used to make an example out of the black man while the other black people watch. There's the little boy watching what not to do and being programmed based on the reaction that we see in here. Been tearing them, your dad not the nigga to play with. I will bury them fucking bitches. I don't care about killing no fucking kids. I don't even have any words for that. <laughs> to be honest, to be honest with you. I don't have any words for that. You better tell them. Before they kill you or before they hurt you, I'll do it. Make that make sense. Before I let anybody come into my household and kill my kids, I kill my kids. Make that make sense. Tough to watch. See them folks quit motherfucking playing. This shit ain't no motherfucking joke. Fuck wrong with y'all kids. Don't get mad because y'all. I want you to look at look into the dad's eyes when he talk. That's what I want you to look at. I want that's what I want you to look at. I want you to look in dead into his eyes when he talking. To me, he's starting to realize something is wrong. In his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's looking around. He ain't focused on what he's saying and what he's doing. Y'all dust ass parents don't love y'all like I love mine. You saying that the, the dusty parents don't love their kids like you love your kids, sir, man. This is not love, man. This is this was perpetrated to us as love. This is not love, man. This is destruction and death. This is the reason why the young black people can't come up in the world. This is the reason why we start from the bottom. This is the reason right here. This not love, bro. This is worse than my own enemy. I expect it from my enemy. I don't expect it from my parents. Now what? Y'all know where he is. Pull up. Help Come save, since y'all care. Sir, it's not about us caring. It's about you should be caring more. But you had to post it for everybody to see. You embarrassed this young man. Disrespected this young man. You brought this uh, uh, young man's soul down to the hell that you in. There was no educational lesson in this. At first, I'm asking, well, why is the young man putting weed and guns on social media anyway? But I don't have to ask that question. It's already been answered. Too far, bro. I don't know what happens when the cameras cut off, and I don't know what happens in your household. But I hope it's not this. Because this is not the example, bro. It's not. Taking your, your child to some networking events about business would have been a better. Hey, man, you know, I'm going to get you off social media. Or I'm going to teach you how to use social media to build businesses. What you got going on? Why are you doing this? Asking questions. Why you want to be a part of this? Why do you think this is smart? Providing, providing lessons. 
so that he might not fall into the same thought process of being willing to kill kids. This is sad. This is sad. This came from, I'm going to drop the link to this. We watched the OV. I'm going to drop the link to this uh, in, in, the, in the comment, I mean, in the description and everything. Uh, man, we got to do better, man. This, 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 this one was kind of tough to watch, I'll be honest with y'all. Like, man, it's... We this not this not positive reinforcement on, uh, on on raising your children, man. This is just this is just too embarrassing. It's sad. I understand that lessons need to be taught, and I understand that you know you got to whoop your kids' ass sometimes. I I I don't disagree with that, but this right here is way beyond that. This right here is what the twenty five year old version of this man will need uh, therapy for. When he's showing this to the therapist or he's showing this to the, the judge, this is why I am like I am judge. Because look how I was treated and raised as a kid, as a young adult. This ain't the first time this happened. I don't, come on now. But, bro, if you don't change, the, these, the children nowadays, man, they're not taking the bullshit that we were willing to take from our parents because we had so much respect and admiration for our parents. That's just not true today. Kids is killing their parents because of stuff like this. I understand, man. You bad brother. World did you wrong. I get it. But, man, you need to pass off more understanding to your children. That's what it is. You got to understand, my brother, that you, too, was walking around with them pistols and that weed. And you need more understanding as to how to remove them from it, not how to push them further into it. That's all we got for today, man. This was a tough one, man. Peace, man.